What's up, y'all? Thank you so much for tuning back in the Scorpio TV. This time, we have Nuke's Top 5. Five scary ghost videos to make you punch the screen. Uploaded October 19th, 2021, which is today, the day that I'm recording uh, the reaction. So, uh, I got the notification for it. It literally just came out like two hours ago. Maybe three at this point. Um, yeah, so it's pretty much fresh at this point. It hasn't even hit 100 K yet, which is, you know, that's really early for Nuke's top fives because I don't think any of his videos, especially over the last year or two, have anything less than a million views. So this dude, man, he definitely gets his recognition. Um, I'm not going, I'm not going to ramble on like I have been. Um, Y'all already know all the important links are down in the description. Without further ado, let's get into this. A white ghost caught on camera, haunted. Single dad Alex Cowboy inherited his estranged grandmother's house in Florida after her recent passing. So he and his daughters packed their bags and moved to the home to start a new life. The house has been in his family for four generations That's the and house. has been left mostly untouched. It looks haunted. In fact, when they move in, the home is still full of his grandmother's belongings. Alex begins to record moments from his family's move to the new house and shares his experiences on TikTok. When they first arrive, Alex posts a video of the event, but concerned viewers soon point out to him that there is something very disturbing in the video. Alex is shocked. A look at our new house. Wow. This is cool, right? Better than an apartment. Okay. Got everybody here. Heading on into the new house for the first time. There's a go. Oh, yeah. See how scary. Well, it's kind of scary, actually. Oh, look at all this stuff. Dollhouse for you, Sala. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um, this kitchen's pretty nice. Ready? I'm gonna go Let's we'll close the door. Did you see it? No. When Alex walks past a mirror, a creepy dark figure can be seen in the reflection. Alex says that he has no idea what this could have been, but he decides to keep recording his experiences in the new house. A little over a month later, and in the middle of the night, this happens. Okay, I just heard a loud bang out here. It's the middle of the night. Sounded like it was coming from the kitchen. Hello? Oh, I guarantee you don't got a weapon. Uh, hello? Alex hears a loud bang and goes to investigate when a chair suddenly just moves on its own. Hello? Oh, and then, only two weeks later, he films another chilling experience. So I just captured something else on tape. Um, while I was actually taking the tape, I did not notice it at all, but you go ahead and take a look at it and tell me what you think. Oh. Okay, I just heard a really loud noise coming up here from the same place where all the other stuff has been going on. Like something was dragging across the floor. Um, turn on the lights, like everybody says. <laughs> okay, come on. I know I heard something. I don't know. Let's see, I don't know. Was that a face? I don't know. There's nothing here. I have to turn on this light down here. Alex doesn't notice it at the time, but he accidentally records what seems to be a pale face staring at him from a doorway. He starts to believe that whatever is making the strange noises and appearing in his videos might actually be the spirit of his deceased grandmother. Fuck. Cut to another night, and Alex captures something absolutely terrifying. It gets I'm worse? Here where all the what different the like, scary activity has happened, and uh, I'm hearing what sounds like somebody walk around 
on the floorboards. As I'm up here, I can feel like the pressure of steps landing around me. Um, I don't really know what's going on. It's, uh, it just seems pretty f crazy to me. I, I just, this is, I don't know. This is not what I signed up for when I got this house. Oh, s***. Ah. 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 What was that? Holy Holy shit. Is there somebody in here or was that actually my grandmother? Oh my god. Holy s***. Oh. What the f***? Oh Just my god. Just leave, bro. What is you doing? The f***ing robe is sitting there on the floor. Are you kidding me? Holy s***. Alex can't believe his eyes as right in front of him someone appears to be standing in his doorway. By the time he manages to collect himself, whoever or whatever it was has disappeared. So could it be that Alex's home is haunted by his grandmother? And if not, then just what is this? I highly recommend that you watch Alex's full story over on his TikTok page. Alex Calvo is haunted. Wow. A different perspective. Reddit user Bunny Toast says that she was home completely all alone with just her grandchild. When she gave the baby her old phone to play with, the child accidentally starts recording a video and captures something chilling. Oh. <laughs> Let's change your butt. You smell like you poopy. <laughs> User Bunny Toes is shocked when she looks back at the footage. Her grandchild seems to have recorded a tall, shadow-like figure standing right behind them. The astonished Reddit user believes the apparition to possibly be her husband's deceased grandmother, who passed away six years ago on the exact same spot where the figure can be seen in the video. Fuck no. But is it a shadow figure or just a very strange trick of the light? Let me know down in the comments. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Haunting of Abiud Hernandez Alvarez. Now the name Abiud Hernandez Alvarez might sound familiar to you because over the last year and a half, I've featured his continuing frightening story. Abiud lives alone in an apartment in Mexico City and claims that he suddenly began to experience terrifying paranormal activity at all hours. Objects would move on their own doors slammed shut, and the sound of high heels and knocking were heard in the halls. Most horrifying of all, a strange female entity began to appear in mirrors around his house, and then the apparition even physically attacked Abiyud. In his last video posted to Facebook, he recorded a shocking encounter with the female spirit he calls Zoya, and then he just sort of disappeared for a while. Abiyud has since returned and adopted a cute little puppy named Milo. It's not long before Milo starts to regularly react nervously to something that Abiyud can't see. One night when Abiyud is fast asleep in bed, a static camera records something very strange. Milo barks at something that we can't see, and an ominous noise can be heard that seems to respond back to the little dog. It's almost as if little Milo is trying to protect his owner from something. Over time, Milo seems to form an odd attachment to a large teddy bear that we have seen in Abiud's videos before. The teddy bear, named Googie, often seems to just move on its own. And he still has it. Fucking goofy. One day after frantically searching, Abiud can't seem to find the teddy bear anywhere. It's like it simply disappeared into thin air. 
Google ha desaparecido y no entiendo por qué. Incluso estoy viendo aquí en el espejo, hay como agua, como si saliera de él. Y toda esa agua se escurre y está directamente en el piso. Incluso de este lado, también se puede ver cómo el agua está escurriendo. Como de la silla, no sé, no entiendo muy bien cómo está aquí. Realmente, no, pues no, no sé cómo explicar que hubiera a desaparecer. ¿Fue eso un teddy bear? Pues no sé ni qué. ¿Fue eso solo en el mirror? ¿Did you see it? I Even though Abiud shows an empty chair, Googie the teddy bear can be seen sitting in the chair in the mirror's reflection. Right. Even stranger, water appears to be seeping right from the mirror itself. Eventually, teddy bear Googie returns to its usual spot and all seems to be going well. Until one night. Abiud hears a very loud noise coming from the same room. He once again takes out his phone and starts to record. It did not go well. Why the fuck? Why isn't the light on? I knew I wasn't tweaking. I knew I saw that fucking big ass teddy bear in that chair. Thank you. You have this teddy bear after all this time and all the paranormal shit that's happened with this teddy bear, and you still got it. It, it, it's work for now. Something really fucked up is about to happen, ain't it? Keep your eyes on the teddy bear, bruh. Bueno, aquí se ve como agua, pero es más viscoso que eso. De hecho, creo que no es la primera vez que... What the fuck happened? Everything just went dark out of nowhere. You're gonna have to run that back for me. In an absolutely bizarre twist, what looks like a terrifying clone of himself charges toward Abiud, scaring him so much that he stumbles to the ground. When he gets back up, there's nothing there. Also, a strange symbol that wasn't there before now appears on the mirror. When Abiud checks out the living room, something dark seems to be standing there with him, only visible in the reflection in the living room mirror. After this horrifying experience, Abiud takes his dog Milo on a long trip to just get away for a while. So, is Abiud Hernandez Alvarez's apartment really violently haunted? Or is it just some bizarre horror ARG? Either way, the videos are terrifying. And as always, I leave it up to you to decide. You can find Abiud's entire story and many more videos over on his Facebook page. The Tunnels. Founded in 1811, the seaside city of Astoria, Oregon has seen its fair share of dark history. In the early 1920s, most of the city tragically burnt to the ground. It was rebuilt with concrete reinforced pylons, creating a creepy hidden underground tunnel system. Many of these tunnels served as underground living space for the very poor, but they were also home to a lot of violent criminal activity and were very unsafe. One of the unfortunate poor people who lived in the tunnels was a woman named Abigail. Abigail was a poorly paid seamstress in a tailor shop during the day, and at night, she lived a very hard life down in the dark tunnels beneath the shop. In 1972, Abigail saw no way out and ended it all. Her remains weren't found until a week after her passing. Another unfortunate soul that is said to inhabit the tunnels is allegedly that of a young girl named Sarah, who is also said to have met her untimely death beneath the tailor shop. Over time, the underground tunnels were closed due to safety hazards. The tailor shop was sold and eventually became the Gully's Butcher Shop. Oh, wow. Owner Diana Gully says that she has always had a bad feeling that someone or something 
might still be down in the tunnels beneath her store. Guests have taken photos in the basement of a mysterious entity that seems to be sitting in a chair. Others have gotten nasty headaches during their visits, and some have even seen a large shadow figure. The story goes that one man visiting sat down in a chair but soon fell over and then quickly ran out. He claimed that what he believed to be the spirit of little Sarah came walking towards him and pushed him right out of the chair. Diana Gully has invited popular ghost hunters Ryan, River, Wyatt, and Skylar from the YouTube channel Twin Paranormal to investigate whether the stories are true and just who or what might be haunting the Gully's butcher shop. As Ryan is interviewing Diana about her store, River is busy setting up a static camera in the tunnels. He captures something downright chilling. So when you're checking things, maybe you could get a little bit more information about that. Some things may uh, appear differently. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they'll trick you. What the f***? Earlier you were saying that somebody was sitting there. Right. Could it have gotten scratched on your face? Mm -hmm. Or it could have just Ryan. Yeah. a little bit too excited and doing it themselves. I almost just freaking lost it. You okay? I'm okay, but that was That's really it. scary. Is that you running over here? Yeah, it was me running over here. <laughs> I've never had that happen. Now, a little freaked out, the team finishes their interview with store owner Diana and officially begins their investigation. Using a rim pod and two EMF meters, they begin to ask questions to the spirit of Abigail, and things just get weirder. That just went to red. That just yeah. went to red. Are you filming it? That went all the way to red. Yes. Can you spike this one as well? Yes. This one in my hand? What? Go Please? Whoa. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Abigail, if this is you. Not one, not two, but all of their devices spike at the same time. The team moves on to a different section of the basement and their devices are still continuously spiking. That's when Ryan experiences something terrifying. We're only, this just keeps going off. Thank you. Rick, Rick, Rick. Somebody's right here. Somebody's right here. Are you over here with us? Oh, now you what? want to run? What? I just got what you got. Oh. Somebody's right here. That's what you wanted, right? Y'all wanted the ghost to fuck you up and come towards you. What? I just got what you got. Something just took a deep, deep breath right by my ear. If I had a heart monitor right now, my heart is beating so fast. Just like his brother River, Ryan experiences and hears the breath of someone right next to his ear. But that's not all that the twin paranormal guys catch at Gully's Butcher Shop. There's another object here in Skylar's hand. All you have to do is walk up to this object and you hold on to this antenna or get close to this metal rod that you see and it'll light up and it'll make noise. I'm going to go ahead and set it over here in this walkway if you can come over to us and use your energy. Give us a sign that you are here with that. Negative. A Texas size one. Give us a sign that you are here with that. The unexplained shape of someone seemingly walking around down in the tunnels is captured on camera. The ghost hunters have no idea what their camera has just recorded but they do hear footsteps coming from that direction. So could this be the spirit of Abigail? Could it be the ghost of little Sarah? Or something worse? Let me know what you think. The investigation at Gully's Butcher Shop is not over yet. Part two will be up on the YouTube channel, Twin Paranormal, very soon. The Legend of Kashima Reiko.
So the story with this next video goes that an anonymous Japanese man lost a bet with his friends, and so they dared him to explore an allegedly haunted forest completely alone. Oh my God. As proof, he must film the entire experience. He hikes into the woods just as the sun goes down. As you might suspect, it did not go well. Hell no, it didn't go well. Japanese, scary forest, by itself. Three strikes, he out already. This about to be fucked up. Y'all know how the Japanese get down with the supernatural shit. Something's about to fuck his ass up. No shit? You should have a bad feeling. You fucking goofy. You playing around with your life. Something fucked up's about to happen. Something fucked up's about to happen. No shit. It's too fucking dark, bro. It's too fucking dark. You see it right in front of you, don't you? Of course this shit is real. The pale disembodied torso of a woman appears to crawl her way out of the forest, getting closer and closer. The man makes a run for it, and the video abruptly ends. Now, Japanese viewers say that the mysterious video has a basis in the frightening urban legend of Kashima Reiko. The story says that the vengeful spirit of a woman is forever looking for her lost legs. And if she happens upon someone, she will take the legs of anyone she encounters. What? Thanks so much for watching. Please follow my Instagram here, my tweets here, and my ticks are my talks, whichever you choose. I'll see you next week. Okay. Um, Japanese one. Uh, scariest one. Um... There was a bunch of, um, like, ghost grannies and, and shit like that. Oh boy, fucking around with the big ass teddy bear. Um, heavy set dude in the first video, um, seeing a fucking, uh, ghost and shit in his crib and like just in well, in his grandmother's old house his grandmother yeah i think it was his grandmother and him just constantly like not taking the shit seriously shit was scary as fuck this video was scary as fuck um i'm i'm ending it because i got really bad goosebumps from that fucking japanese video so i'm ending it right here i hope you enjoyed it I hope you drop a like, a comment, share the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, support the channel. Make sure that bell icon is tapped so you will get notified every time I drop new content, which I do Mondays, Fridays, and sometimes Saturdays. That's all for y'all. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay humble. Just want to apologize for that, guys. Um, I was cooking, like, my burgers right here in my kitchen while I was recording the video. And the timer went off, and it, like, totally stopped the video from recording just as I was about to do the rest of my outro so 
yeah, uh, that's all I have for y'all for that video. So, you know, stay safe, stay blessed, stay humble. Um, until I see you next time, peace.